one, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trade and Partners with Bob Iacino. Tesla in a week wrap-up, so we did. Let me jump back down to four hour for a second. So we got back above the rotation zone, so back into bullish mode on the four hour. And coming up, we've talked about this key level multiple times, this 835 level. And what do we close? We closed at 819. The high was 8. Hold on. Sorry about that. Well, high was 835 exactly on that, and the close was 812. So that 835 level, that was the exact high today. So what are we watching for next week? Above 835, 843.29. Let me jump to daily chart. Then that 863 to 869 level, then 883 to 891, which we will fine tune as we rally up. Those are the levels as of this point, but once we start getting those little reactions on the four hour, we'll fine tune them so they won't be so wide. Key support, there's going to be some support based off the daily chart about 827. That's the first level support we'll be watching. Then we'll be watching back around 815 and then the bottom of the rotation zone coming in about 793. So those are all the key support levels on the daily. Next level below there, I'd be watching is 740. But this is the end of the week wrap up. So let's look at the weekly chart. Weekly looks like it's getting back into overbought condition. Uh... Let's see, what was the high last week? The high last week, 834. So this is actually an outside week. So we had a higher high than last week, a lower low than, uh, than last week. But we really didn't make a lot of progress. We're still still holding up on this. Uh, just drifting sideways, letting the weekly rotation zone catch up to us. So we'll have to see if that forces the breakout. But again, we're going to be watching that 8. Uh, 35 then the 843 levels now on a weekly basis first level support coming in at 750 major support down now at about 660 so those are the levels should something catastrophic happen those would be the levels we'd be checking in otherwise we're really focused on those daily levels that I listed earlier a very low volume on this week this is the lowest volume let's see Let's zoom out. Well, this is the lowest weekly volume since possibly back at the end of November last year. So incredibly low volume. Not much movement in the last three weeks. So I think we're still, yeah, we're still trading inside. This was an inside bar to two weeks ago. So we really haven't gone that far. It's why it's always good to keep the bigger picture in mind. We'll talk to everyone soon. I hope everyone had a great week trading. Bye for now.